Hey, let's go, let's go. After 76 years of darkness, an incredible piece of history is coming back to light. You ready? Yes, sir. This it's been a long time. <laughs> is Texas Wesleyan's first go. football team. It's gonna take faith for you to win this game. Since 1941. Glory forever. Amen. Amen. And these guys know Kane Harden. the wait is finally over. It's time. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like they said, it's time. They're all eager to revive this program. But safe to say, no one is more excited. Oh gosh, okay. And these two. It's exciting. 70 year old women from Fort Worth. Oh, thrilled. Just thrilled. So excited. Susan Roddy. So excited. And Marsha Hilcher. Yes. Our best friends. Yeah. Who owe their lives and, and friendship to Texas Sports. Wesleyan football. If it hadn't been the, for the friendship of Hall and Monroe, we would not have our friendship. Susan's dad, Hall Splawn. This is my dad, yes. Was the running back for that old Texas Wesleyan team. They were the dynamic duo. Marsha's dad, Monroe McCarty. That's my daddy, Monroe. Was the quarterback. Daddy was Wesleyan football. And they were more than just teammates. They may not have been blood brothers, but they were brothers in every other way. They were inseparable. The two had been side by side since middle school. Always together. And so, after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Hall and Monroe both joined the war. Side by side. Marsha wasn't born until the war was over, but Susan was just two when her dad shipped out. And before he left, he asked Monroe uh, to take care of mother and me if, in case anything happened. That was the last time the two friends ever saw each other. Paul Splon was killed in France in November of 44. Monroe was heartbroken, but never forgot what his friend had asked take care of my family. So after the war, Monroe kept tabs on Susan and her mom. Over time, they grew close and eventually realized they were better together. He wanted to marry my mother um, and that he would become my dad. Monroe McCarty gave his friend what he wished and gave her a sister. Marcia was born a couple of years later. A lot of people suffered for me to get to be here. It's hard. Um, Monroe did just what his friend asked him to do. And I couldn't have had a better daddy than Monroe. He was, he became my dad in every sense of the word. Without those two teammates, this family wouldn't be possible. Eric, did you have any of those? Which is why when Texas Wesleyan announced football was coming back, <laughs> they celebrated. I never dreamed it would ever come true. This would have meant the world to them. Hi, how are you? That first game. Today we are witnesses to history. It was like walking back in time. I can just imagine dad out there throwing that ball or catching that football. I'd give anything if they were here to see this. Put, put, put. 76 years in the making. Come on, Rams. Susan hardly remembers her birth father, but with each play, he came rushing back. We can see him out on the field today. When yeah. you've missed someone for 70 years, there's no way no. to describe the feeling of seeing them again. There's really not. And because of that, they will continue to be here, making sure that like their father's legacy, this program will now live forever. Such happy memories, happy memories. John Giggy, Channel 8 News.